Hello Lavender Group, it's Tuesday and it's time for our story. Now, our story today is about one of my favorite elephants and his name is Elmer. Some of you might have heard about Elmer the elephant before. And what makes Elmer so special is that he isn't a gray elephant like most of the elephants we know. He's a patchwork elephant, which means he is lots and lots of different colors. And Elmer goes on lots of exciting adventures. So today we're going to be reading a story about Elmer. And tomorrow, one of your creative activities is you will be making your own Elmer the elephant with lots of different colors. So that's quite exciting. Before we read our story, I think we're going to sing one of our elephant songs that we did yesterday. And it goes like this. An elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and terribly fat. He has no fingers, he has no toes, but goodness gracious, what a nose. Well done. Okay, are you ready? Here is Elmer. Can you see him? I'm sure you can because he has lots of bright colors. Isn't that amazing? Imagine if you saw an elephant like that, wouldn't it be quite a surprise? He's got some of my favorite colors on him, purple and blue. Okay, and this book, you need to do a little bit of searching in this story. So you have to help me. It's a little bit of a hide and seek story. Our story today is, look, there's Elmer. All right, let's see. It's your turn to hide, Elmer, said Bird. Oh, that will be fun, bird. Count to ten and then try to find me. Off Elmer goes. I'm coming, Elmer. Ready or not, I can see you between the trees. Look, looks like a little bit of patchwork colours. Do you think that's Elmer? Let's see. Oh, hello, lion. I thought your parasol was Elmer. Oh, that's funny, bird. Look, there's Elmer. There's some more patchwork. This looks like Elmer's colours. Do you think it's Elmer? Oh, hello, giraffe. I thought that kite was Elmer. <laughs> That's funny, bird. Look, there's Elmer. Even the rabbits are pointing to him. Let's see if it's Elmer. Oh, hello, crocodile. I thought that the boat was Elmer. <laughs> oh, that's funny, bird. Look. There's Elmer. This must be Elmer now. Let's see. Oh, hello, Wilbur. I thought you were Elmer. No, that's Fanny Bird. Look, there's Elmer. Through the trees again. Okay, it's definitely got to be El well, Elmer this time. Let's see. Let's turn the back. Oh, hello, Tiger. I thought the flag was Elmer. <laughs> That's funny, bird. Look, there's Elmer. Through the rocks. Can you see the patchwork colours? Let's see. Oh, hello, kangaroo. I thought your wigwam was Elmer. <laughs> That's funny, bird. Look, there's Elmer. Nope. No, oh, hello, hippo. I thought that the washing was Elmer. <laughs> That's funny, bird. Look, there's Elmer. It's got to be Elmer this time. Come on, he's doing a really good job at hiding, isn't he? Oh, no, not again. Oh, hello, monkeys. I thought your ball was Elmer. <laughs> 
Alma is through there. Well, that looks like Alma's patchwork, doesn't it? Let's see. <gasps> oh, at last. It really is you, Alma. I couldn't find you anywhere. Mm, that's funny, bird. I couldn't find anywhere to hide. The end. Well, that was a pretty good game of hide and seek, wasn't it? Elmer thought he couldn't find me near where to hide, and Bird couldn't find Elmer because there were so many things that were patchwork colours. I love that story of Elmer the elephant. Enjoy making your Elmer the elephant tomorrow, and I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.